is, is our main guest this evening. Um, I'll let him introduce himself in a second as well. I just want to say for myself that I will never, ever forget my experience with these guys last year because they were here right as COVID started. Um, they, they came on a, like on a month, the, the week that everything locked down, I think a week that we'll never remember, they were here with us. So we had an event Tuesday evening of that week here in our office and focus and by Wednesday, Thursday, everything that we were doing had been canceled and by Saturday when they went home, we were uh, really wondering whether everything was going to work out okay for them to leave. So it was an unforgettable week. Um, so Steve Simpson is one of the two co-founders of Global Leadership Partners. So Steve, if you could introduce yourself and just for a minute say a little bit about who Global Partners is and where you guys came from. So thank you, Nolan. Uh, a few no. years back, two of us began this journey uh, of traveling to Europe, Eastern Europe, and Central Asia uh, to share information uh, based on our careers and information we've had. We've done a lot of seminars in universities and professional groups for the past seven years, actually. Professor. Years ago, we became incorporated, and we've added now another 63 speakers. So we are a group of professionals of all different uh, professor. backgrounds, uh, professional backgrounds. I myself am, am an engineer. I work yes. in engineering management for Procter & Gamble uh, out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and that's where I live now. But I have been several in the States and in Japan. Uh, we still travel, although uh, this past year has presented some difficulties for us. So we're doing these by Zoom. We hope to come back and see you in person. Uh, this picture is my family. I have three married children and 15 grandchildren. In a few months, I'm going to have my first great grandchild. And I'm uh, out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And I've been out of Procter Gamble, but for about 14 years, and I consult with nonprofits, and and I volunteer uh, a lot, coaching, mentoring, and uh, and so I'm going to be here today. I'm not going to be the main speaker today, so I'm going to turn you over to Ron Knopf. This was presented by Ron Knopf. Good afternoon. I'm very excited about being here. Uh, this is the leadership about just about three years ago. Please feel free to uh, write comments or questions as, as Ron goes through his presentation. It'll make it easier for us to get the conversation going. Um, and if there's something that's that's uh, very um, uh, uh, maybe you know uh, a question you have as he's going along, feel free to. Um,
danos želim uživati u pregovara da budete samo uživati u pregovara. Pitanje na koje bih volio da dobro što čini pregovore uspješnima? Kako se ti znaš? Kako izgledaš? Znali me to. Isu li su obje strane zna? A, odličan odgovor. To je da ovdje strane zadovoljno. Matoju da je sve u redu. Ispunjenost, tako je. Još nešto? Shvatljive i nema ničega skrivenova. To je dobro odgovor. Idemo dalje. Govorit ćemo o prije. Za mene je ovo pripreme za... Pripremite svoje... Oboje imate korik. Ako dođete u pregovor, ljubi, ono se naključete. Moć, pozitivnosti. Na imućnosti i na kraju. I tada to su neći problem. Ali kada ljudi shvatiti što želite i uglavnite razmišljati da obje strane budu zadovoljni. Planirajte da ćete biti uzbuđeni i pregovori mogu da nervoze kako bi se sve kretalo kako treba. Druga priprema je naučiti kako su stvarno se uvarali, nema svijedima, malo kada, zašto to sve trebate znati. Četvrto, pregovarajte sa onima koji da... Mene nije zabavno pregovarati sa... Ima jedna teretanu u jednu veliku zavljenju. Što pripadam njima u razliku. Samo god putem želim teretanu. Otišao sam poslutno u Tennessee, Stano je rekao sam, COVID je ne može puštamo samo one samo u rodu gradu ako putujete ne možete rešiti nemožete politiku ja sam rekao, ok dobro, malo sam se dostavljeno. Mogu da ga da ću se dalje. Nježba ti mislim. Pitao sam, postoje li neko izvijek? 
Razgovarali smo s direktorom. Dobro, razgovarali smo. Direktor mi je rekao, što mi nije imao smisla. Pa sam pitao, s kime još mogu razgovarati? Evo, tu je vladno. Teretana koja ima to je valjda osoba evo doći dobro je što smo krenuli odgovarati o izgustu dok smo razgovarati kako je to nova politika? Upuštavaju mi manjiti broj ljudi koji vježbaju. Ima smisla. Zdravim i nema baš. Uvo vreme nema. Uvo vreme nema. A ja ću doći samo onda kada to uđevam. Ja sam morao sam mogli smo se dogovoriti. I posljednje, odreći najbolje odreći za dogovoreno. Ja da biste mogli. Tako je pošten dobro. Tako u vašoj organizaciji izgleda pošten dobro. Savjeti. Budi ljudi. što je bitno da treba tu biti dopadljivi javno hvalite budite jako bitno tako je porba slušati onda još slušati reći ćete nešto do da, slažem. Razvijite razgovor. Ali vrlo. Jedite na istoj strani. Uvijete razvijete u radnju. Dok se razvijete na drugom, onda ste kada se natječete. Pregovori ljudi govoraju o kojim su vrati i koje će to funkcionira u filmovi ali o rezultatu odlučuje scenarist mi ne imamo scenarista moramo staviti dakle moramo biti pozicionirani zatim dođite Zatim morate objasniti i zašto se više neće ponoviti u 
units to get into vehicles. Evo, došao sam sad Želite da se pravi. 
Next part of the process is invent options for mutual gain. This is where you get creative. The option is expanding the pie before dividing it. To nazivam povećavanjem prije That's what I call expanding the pie. Govorimo svemu iza pozicije. To je širenje sorte. Vrijeme za kraj. Ono su odluke, a get it out of your mind. What you really want to do is imagine new options. Imagine <laughs> povezivanju ideja. I zadnje, najprihvatljivije opcije, razvijajte varijane. Trebaju opcije za razne ideje i odluke. Ajmo razgovarati o tome. Pokušavate doći do razgovora, gdje se možete složiti. Sada ćemo razgovarati. Najvećim i najkompleksnijim rješenjima koje su u 2012. Ja sam predstavljeno trebali smo napraviti svrtu koja je zove bilo je vrlo na podstaci 20 tisuća ljudi to je poštalo 5 milijardi dolar 12. najveći dobavljeno vrlo uzbudljivo. Bio sam razvijen za jednog, za jednog. Odnicu za automatske nešnje. Milijun ljudi. Hvala. Dakle, struktura izvještavanja bila je dobra. Izgraditi to. Sam glavni. Ako postavite, pozicijom, Kako to izgleda? A 50% su vlasti. Sreću Dakle, nisam toliko bio bio, toliko glavni pregovorac. 
od Forda, zadovolili svoje reče. Bio sam prvenstveno odgovor tom zajednikom podvodu. Bio sam i povedal sa Fordom. Zapravo plaća. Zadovoljim karijeru nakon ovog zadatka. I oni su uzimali radite za liderske pozicije. Jedan koran o izređenju. Otkrio sam da se učinu skupaj. Mi se nešto od prvog dana. Prvo, ispočetka je u ovom dne. Ja sam ovdje nekoli učinu. Bili smo u timskoj večeri. Bilo je mnogo hrane. Odlazili smo u Brosku. Jedan direktor. Seconded means you're on loan. You work for a larger company, maybe one of the partners, but you're on loan. Ali su posuđeni. Some people call it seconded. So you're there and you work and you're seconded. So it basically means you're on loan. Posuđeni, so you're not going to do a company. Also, so this culture of negotiation, I found out. So we eat together in one group and we're walking out. Matra da je preskupo. Oh yeah, the price is on the menu. We can't agree to pay because we're going to be able to pay. We're going to be able to pay. Wow, this is pretty neat. Yeah, it's great. You can read the price of the price. You can read the price of the price. So here's the long and short of this. We can make decisions. We can make decisions. We can make decisions. Ustavljeno. Ništa mi nije uvijek. Postoji proces. Oprema koja se postoje ustaje. Operativni sustav. Nemo se što pregovara. Nego se treba raditi. Prvi put da smo pokretali ustaje. Značemo u Evropu. Drugo je uvijek na stvari. Ali ovo je bilo treće. Smatrao da se uvijek to pregovara. Ovo je treći put da uvijek. Evo što smo. Prvo je stvari u tom procesu. Što me je malo treće. Da je bez veze razgovarati o tom. Ovako koristan za izvedbu, razvoj, cijeli tim. Jer razumiju što se njima, zašto ću tako sam očiniti i kako. Izredba pošto je brda učinkovita. 
directly to what was the negotiation. This was my first negotiation with this team. And I'll never forget my first day. I walk into the room. Prosečne doby 24. Technicky najzahtievný.
Ça se trouve là, ici. Malade. C'est pour ça. Ça se voit. Okay, we agree that you're here for one. Mark Engineering has already been part of our team. Number two, we're going to do this with two people. We're going to do this with two people. This team is like this. Fifteen hundred people in eighteen months build a factory. 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 Build a Yeah, and the tension was you were this. The other position was, hey, you can. Why aren't we good enough? Is that is that kind of? Yeah. The big deal was the focus right out of college. We had 40 people with maybe one year experience. So so. North American people, maybe European, American, Australian, but 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 Ford employees have had long years of experience. How did Ford have dealt with him for three years with us? It's the big negotiation. What's the problem? Problem? What I kept hearing was this is expensive, and and it was expensive. Yes, football. Our subject matter expert moved to China for one year. Would be a cost or at least a charge to the joint venture of a half a million dollars. Kako to prevladati? My first impression was this. There really were no decision makers in the room. The one way for the board side. The board was actually recruiting within the company at the time. The second big first impression, initial impression was, they didn't trust me. They didn't trust me. Time to foster a trust-based relationship to make sure Everybody understood this was going to be a win-win outcome. The job with the forest and it was all the consideration that was very just like the way out of the law. That's what we're going to do. We're going to negotiate everything. So I had a personal way of thinking. We're going to go fast and go quick. 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 Ja volim brzo raditi. A sam odlučio da... Kako je to učin? Kako je to učin? Pardon, počela je deset polina dalje. Dakle, to je bilo ugovor, Ford i Mazda. Kada se kompanija učinila i stvorili smo ovu Hong Kong kompaniju. A to je to što je to kompanije bilo već četiri godina Fordovi sam. Evo što pokušavam, rekao sam im. Ali, neka su prvo. Svi moraju što je. Dakle, nisko ne što je samo će da što je dobro. Ali je to so if you make the wrong decision, it's a disgrace to you, it's a disgrace to you. It's a disgrace to you, it's a disgrace to you. It's a disgrace to you. You have to be careful with this. You have to be careful with this. You have to be careful with everybody can save face when this is over. You have to be careful with this. You have to be careful with this. Also told me that subordinates never do shade with their supervisors. So they're not going to be able to do that. Really, it was... It was really a double bind. I'm not allowed to 
Ale je to problém, sa Ja môžem pregovať na ten A môžem sa podrezený. Tam je zanim. sa mnou. To je Ajmo sa dogovoriť k nám. Takže idemo baciť do výsledky toho programu. Želimo ísť zdať. Môžeme to počítať. Samo kako. Jer smo jako dobri. Mi smo tako dobri. Oni se ne traju. Jedno Amerika. Európa, ktorý sme tu boli, sme sa dočítali, či ako ste učili. To je ovo takú učili. Na učiteľov. Ty sú razvecelé. Sve ľudia sú väčšie mu od nás sami. Ako som byť čo najbolej na svetu. Ako som byť čo najbolej na svetu. Ďakujem. 
complexity. Som predstaviť si technológiu komplexnosti s jemenom, Fundamentally, what happened, which kind of brought us to successful negotiation, we came up with the issue of we had to answer these fears. Zvláštne diskusie je svelo na ovo. Bolo 3 godine. Dovesli 26 ľudí. Dovesli 26 ľudí. Po 3 godine. Ajde na prvému jednu godinu. Ja rekli smo dobro, môže. No, mogućnost produženja. Drugo redu. Drugi strah. Hoćemo dobro što je zabrati. Kako smo? Pasko, da se da smo napisati interesno priviranja. Dakle, zrkom će vam omakiti da se odgovarat ćemo se učiniti. Zatim treći strah. Hoće li ti stručni se raditi na pravim stvarima? Kako najbolje je tim? Ďakujem. Dakle, štrušim ti bi bilo odgovor na onima koje obučavaju. Dakle, ukratko, pripreme su važne. Važno je vidjeti odnose važne. Odnosno, strahove važne. Interesni strahove je vrlo važne. I nekaj odgovor na onima. Nekaj koji su ostali spuniti. Zatim. Vratit ću se na prezentaciju. Želim reći par stvari. Yeah, I 
but basically, let me just talk about some last words. Um, but there is some when it comes to communication yeah. is protect your brand. Um, the the brand represents you. And in this particular brand. case, I need to protect awesome. my brand. What else are you negotiate with this team? And actually, I stayed there for five years. Lot of it would be in multiple negotiations, but that baseline trust that we built and the relationship we built the negotiations to go very, very smooth. When you're in business and you're negotiating with other people, even different companies, your brand will become a lot. It will change people who know what kind of negotiator you are. You can get the end of your path and your reputation. Always keep your brand in mind. No such thing as a one-off. Ne, Ako su spremljali, to my negotiation, my negotiations. Um, my presentation. Well, that was great, Ron. Thank you uh, so much. Um, we have uh, a, a half an hour left of our time. So the Ron did exactly what I asked him to, which I really appreciate, was to give us give us a, a little bit of a, a framework for how he had uh, uh, worked with the negotiation, but to spend most of his time really getting us into a story. And I think it's pretty a pretty important one with tens of millions of dollars at stake in another country in something that's never been done before. Uh, and so I really... And yeah, the details of that, I think it's um, always really amazing to hear, you know, even in such a big negotiation that, that the little things still really matter, that emotions and relationships are still very, very central to what's going on and that you you got to guess by um, dealing with uh, fears and uh, all sorts of, of things that, that we all deal with in every single negotiation. So I think it's a great example to, to see um, big high stakes negotiation but i think it's still quite relevant to, to all of us, wherever we are um, uh, uh, but you can be thinking about your questions uh, as i just share a couple things with you one i'm going to put a link in the chat uh, yes. where, uh, the videos uh, for this seminar tomorrow on thursday will be posted there's also actually one from yesterday uh, no, we had a small discussion with a few people about um, anxiety in, in the workplace and so um, in leadership. So um, you can check that out. And there's two different videos. One is the uh, video with the English audio and the other is with uh, Croatian audio. So um, you can save that, that link and follow Udruga Focus and see, um, see the videos before the they show up. And the last thing I'll put in the, as a link is that we have a survey. Um, a survey, so I'll, I'll put the survey in here. Uh, if you could, um, at some point, fill out the survey about the seminar. Uh, and, and also, Steve and Ron are available for a few slots to talk to people in one-hour segments, uh, which I will probably also be present um, just to help set everything up and to help with the language issues and things like that. Uh, so if, uh, if you'll see in the follow up uh, in the in the survey for the or the evaluation, let's say for the for the webinar, um, a chance at the end to indicate you're interested and to leave um, your, um, your name and your address. And so you don't you can fill out the, the evaluation anonymously unless you're asking uh, for us to kind of work on seeing if we can connect you with Ron and Steve, we're right now five hours before us. So um, when it's uh, when it's six here, it's it's one in the afternoon there. So those are the kind of um, housekeeping things that I have. You've been very, very patient. Uh, um, this is now the part where if
if you have a question you would like to unmute and to ask it, you can ask it in English or in Croatian. Or the, probably the easiest thing would be is if you want to um, um, write uh, questions in the chat box, and then then we can kind of uh, I can read them out loud to the guys. Um, uh, I know. I, I also in the your registration for this event, you filled out a survey asking you what some of your questions. What if you had a burning question about? Um, negotiations. I already have a number of people's burning questions about negotiations. So, so one of them that came up several times uh, was uh, so Ron. I thought maybe you could kick it off. But just real quickly, what are your thoughts on uh, advice for people when they're negotiating for a raise at work? Yeah, actually, I had to do this one time in my life, and actually, wasn't it was a real yeah, I had to negotiate for a different position. Yeah, or, or a promotion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a promotion. Um, oftentimes, raises are more difficult because. Yeah, I just I, I've struggled with that, but. Um, positions, that's a negotiation. So. Um, I always go the same way the HR team does it. It's kind of kind of a turn back on the way that way they make decisions. Um, look around for similar positions in the company or other like companies and what those positions look like and what they pay. Get the inside detail, share it with the supervision and say, hey, you know, this this is um organization, they have similar goals, similar products, similar whatever, and the position looks like X. Differences and, and this other question that we want to create or we want to go into at work. This is what it looks like. This is how I think I would fit into this position. Do, that, do all the homework to make it very, very easy to, to build your case. And, and I've done that before. It was actually one time when I was in China. Was responsible for what I was responsible for, and I looked for like organizations in Europe and in North America that were responsible, very, very similar, almost exact, but there were some things that weren't equal. And I said, make this what I think fair because fairness is a, is a important word for most people. And when you're talking to senior leaders, they all want to be fair, but you have to do your homework to, to share with them where you're going to go and why you think it's important. Thank you. Um, Hello? We have about 30 people on the call with us here and um, would love to have you give any feedback or ask a question or make a comment um, in the chat or you can also unmute yourself. Do you unmute yourself if you have a, a camera as well? It'd be nice if you would uh, turn your camera on um, so everybody can hear you. If I may, I have a question for Ron. Yeah. Hey, Ron. Uh, good to see you. Um, so, could you give us an example of uh, when you um, when you left the table uh, when you know, for example, for whatever reasons, but um, when just the, the deal went south or something, and when you just uh, walked away, um, and yeah, because I, I think that's that's also an important aspect of negotiations. So if you have uh, that this example, uh, I would appreciate it. And maybe uh, maybe even tell us why did you uh, walk away. Thanks. Great question, Lorna. Thanks. That is a great question. Um, <clears throat> one thing about me that I haven't shared, I have a small um, invest property investment company. Yes, they have a small investment company. Now, now this can be this is always a negotiation. I know we're spending money buying properties, it's, there's a negotiation behind what you're gonna do. Uh, that's where the BATNA comes in. It's your best you your your you gotta know when to walk, to know when to walk away and when to stay. So so uh, up front to make things easy to negotiate emotional on my part. I don't want to make a decision yeah. because I just like something that yeah. feels okay. good. I'm going to go buy a piece of property. Let's say I'm going to buy a, Nešto. Recimo, ako a rental income. Uču za najam. I'll decide up front what is my bad. What's, what's, what's my bad? Like for me. 
best alternative to negotiating. Uh, uh, I will uh, uh, negotiation. I will not vary from what is satisfying uh, for my life. For example, if I'm going to buy a property for investment, uh, I don't know uh, what the rents are like in the area. Je vais vous montrer comment ça va coûter. 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 Je vais vous montrer Je pense que moi je ne peux pas changer. 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 So I'm clear what the point is. And the only thing I can think of that I walked away from is, and I walked away from it too deep into negotiation on property. I couldn't find a way to make it work from a financial perspective. Can I add something to that? You know, whenever we've negotiated, for example, on a house, and I've been in a house, One time I was in a six-month negotiation. I didn't go into something like that. Without your best alternative, you also want to try to know as much about the seller as you can and anticipate what their best agreement is. What do they need? Do they need it now quick? Or have they got plenty of time? Do they need the money really badly? Or they don't need it that much. Do they need to do something smaller and therefore they might leave furniture and appliances behind in the past? Or are they going to a place bigger where they need everything they have? And all of those are part of creating a agreement when you understand them and their needs for the win-win. You can re-articulate or re-create the agreement in a way that's creative, like you said, that you can get to it quicker than what they want out of it. It's just more of what you said. Angeli, od pregovora. Maybe some people in the group are also feeling a bit shy. I think there was a um, their responses seem to say, I, I, I struggle to be calm in negotiations. I struggle to I'll be able to assert myself. Uh, Ron, have you watched other people who are um, maybe more introverted or shy uh, build their skills in negotiation or uh, uh, give any advice to people who may feel like this is a, a very a, a exhausting thing to do? Or were you born good at this? Or did you have to really work your way up at this yourself? You're still muted. Sorry. Is yeah. that me? Yeah. No, 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 you're just, just a second. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I, I think it's practice. Um, it's a of practice. Set up negotiations that, that you can practice. Yeah. And, and yeah. Seek them out. Maybe they're not going to be real personal, yeah. but you want to get involved in those negotiations. I remember when I first read the book, um, Getting to Yes, I volunteered for a negotiation. Right off the bat, my wife said it was crazy. We, it, we were in a um, homeowners association, which means we belong to a community of and, and there's several homes in it, and we had to pay into a fund to like maintain the road or the porch or the signage or something, and you pay into it. You agree when you buy the property, you're going to. And there was one fella in in the in the in the community who refused to pay. He was there for three to four years, and he would never. And everybody else. This is all really relevant because most of us, I think, live in apartment buildings where there's someone like that who's not paying into the. Yeah, 
there's actually uh, um, lawyers that specialize this and attorneys. This is crazy. Not sure you really signed up to pay when you, you just do it. But anyway, there's some details to what this guy didn't pay and refused to pay. And I, well, I wasn't even part of the board of directors or the president or the treasurer. And then I just read the book and I said to my, to my wife, I said, I'm going to go get his name was EJ. I said, I'm going to get EJ to go pay this year. Yeah. Payment in the last three years, and she said, well, "You're crazy. Why would you want to put yourself through that?" That's just the joke. Daddy's going to scream and yell. And maybe this is going to happen, and it's because I want to work on my skills. He tells me no, and I learned. Why would you put yourself in the community? Because he paid. We calmed everybody down, and then we got back to normalcy. So I volunteered for that. And, and it actually worked. It, I followed this, the, the, what we just talked about today. For, for why talking with the fellow and going through the needs that he had and his concerns and his fears. And anyway, you know, I walked away with a check. I started it as a check for $400. It was the year he was in. It was three prior years. And I walked away and I handed it to him. The biggest negotiation uh, process actually works. Možno ovo pregovaranie zapravo. som sa upustil tú avantúru, da rozhovorím. So you go meet one on one with that person. They come to you and they personally come to the agreement so that they don't lose faith. And then they say what they believe is the right answer and you move on. And they're they were not honored then. That was so different than an American way of negotiating. Uh, and we had to get really sensitive to how that culture thinks in order yeah. to come to agreement. It's very personal and it's oh, very much has to do with society's norms in the culture you're in. Normy. Državy u kojoj živite. Those are great points and I, I, um, I've lived in Croatia for 20 years and I hope I wouldn't um, offend anyone who's with us today in saying this, but uh, I think that a lot of those kinds of, uh, Croatia is not China or Japan, but there is actually a lot of sensitivity around things like meter look bad uh, in, and I don't think that works anywhere. Um, and uh, 
that's something to really be to be thoughtful about um to really ask yourself you know look at everybody around the room and think like yeah. if we get to the agreement i would really like us to get to does this make somebody look bad or really uh put them in an awkward position um because we're all very emotional beings and if that's true for any of us that's going to be yeah. very very difficult for us to, to just be stubborn you know saying we don't want to agree with something even if it's not in the um, I don't know if either of you have think and maybe think of examples of people who are because uh, in the comments I got from people, I think there was a sense of, again, just, uh, gee, could I be good at negotiation? So maybe if you think about other colleagues you had, uh, I don't know, do you have any insights on what you've seen in terms of men versus women in negotiation or introverts versus extroverts or kind of what um, uh, what you've seen in terms of how a person can develop themselves to be better in negotiation? What can I do when I go to buy a truck? Because they send my wife. Yes. Da. And why is that? Zašto? Because just like Ron and his wife, I have the emotional stake in it. <laughs> I want the truck. My <laughs> wife doesn't have that stake. And so we strategize on who's going to negotiate for which vehicle. The disinterested party that goes and does the negotiation because they have the best ability to walk away and force the other party to come to their terms. And so she buys my vehicles and I buy her vehicles. <laughs> That's great. That's great. You know, you know what? Here's the thing, though. We're all negotiators. I mean, if you, everybody on this call is an expert negotiator. Hmm. You know, when, when my eight-year-old comes home from school today, he's going to have a plan. He's going to want to, he's going to say, I think this is what we need to do for the rest of the day. He's going to negotiate a game. He's going to negotiate something. Yeah. That he wants to go so I think it's naturally in us that we, I mean, we talked about, we all buy vehicles or whatever. Yeah. Um, some level of negotiation. We negotiate with our spouses. I mean, I we're gonna, I'd like to go to the beach for vacation. And I tell her, I want to go to Colorado yeah. and go skiing for vacation. Well, there's a negotiation. We're going to we're going to come up with a conclusion, something that's going to work for both of us. So, I, so if you think about it, we're all expert negotiators. It's really just a matter of adding to our skills and our tools. To I'm a great point. I think that uh, teenagers are fantastic natural negotiators. Um, they're tenacious. They know exactly what they want. <laughs> And, and so for many of us, maybe sometimes we forget um, natural, more, more in, in uh, natural skills we might have had at some point earlier. There's another question here. So let me just take a second to, or a comment, maybe just take a second to um, uh, absorb it. Um, uh, oh, okay. So I had that kind of a situation when I was looking for a job in my expertise um, uh, and I am looking for any kind of uh, similar work and a couple of people thanking you for the comments. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. We have a couple, few more minutes. Please, you know, feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question and you can do so in Croatian and we can translate it back into English. For you. When you're looking for a job, let's say there's a job posting and you think you're a fit for it and, and you do, you take the posting and you break it down, left, left side, right side. And, and recruiters and, and people that are employers actually approve this. You could take their posting and write down, this is the, the job skill, the left side. And then you are, how, how you, your skill set fits. It may not be exact because you come from a different industry. But you have that skill set to support that experience. Right side. Now, when you send that in, You've just started a negotiation. It doesn't feel like a negotiation. It feels like a fact question or, or, or just providing good information. But you've started a negotiation of this is what you want. This is what I can provide. This is the combination. This is what you need. Easily used in finding employment. 
how do you deal with that? Are you saying even, even with some of them, you don't formally fill, like you don't have the same number of years of experience in that industry that they're well, technically well, asking you, well, well, but you, well, you well, often well, emphasize well, what you do. Well, well, right. 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 So I wanted to work, say, I'm, a, I'm in the automobile business, but I have high expertise in quality systems. Quality systems are, are absolutely my strongest skill. Uh, uh, I could go work in the food industry. Manufacturing industry person. <laughs> and, and literally, days, he might move to Tennessee because he's going to work for a candy company. Uh, but he's he's done done nothing that he's ever done before. <laughs> but but he's been able to 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 negotiate. I think based on his strong like industries with similar skill sets. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a great question in the box. Any tips on how to negotiate when walking away isn't an option? I was recently in such a position where I, when I needed to get a short-term job and the details of the contract, which were already signed, were changed. I ended up accepting because I turned down another opportunity, which was no longer available. How to negotiate back into a better position? That's a So maybe you feel like you already signed something <laughs> because both did Ron freeze or something. Maybe you signed something and then somebody, uh, a little Darth Vader move, um, I've altered the agreement, pray don't alter it any further. You know, what, you really feel like you have the bad hand or um, uh, you, know, you really need to make more. Hmm. Well, I, I think you have to, to call that out. I think it, it needs to be very upfront and transparent. I think it, work on the relationship you know, um, so some of those tools I talked about early not you, you you're not fair is this maybe it's you know I felt like this is what we agreed to you know, can you say a little more about that? Because somebody mentioned that even in their 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 question before we started. What what is the why is it difference to say why is it different to say I feel like as opposed to hey you? Why is yeah. Hey. When, when you call somebody out with you, it becomes the immediate thing you hear is you said or you did this. It's almost like you're accusing them of something. Anxiety and you're in, 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 in a negotiation, you're trying to get rid of anxiety. You want people to feel comfortable and open. And so, you know, I, you know, I actually learned this from my, from my daughter. Whenever things don't, I disagree. With, That's a nice part, right? She would come back and say, Well, I I felt like this. Because she knows what me, she tells me, You said, or you didn't do this, or you. I get a little defensive because I'm just my personality style. Uh, so I, I think that's that's the way to go is just try to keep it more neutral in terms of the conversation and get away from people feeling anxiety. I think, uh, on that question, there's almost always an option to walk away. It's just a matter of what consequences are you willing to live with, meaning you may have to find a different job. The other is how much do they know about whether you have an alternative or not. Yeah, if they know know that there's no option, then you're kind of on the short end. But if they don't know, there's yeah, always yeah. the possibility of them thinking you have other options. Yeah, so you yeah. have a leverage position to try to negotiate back to the original agreement. And I would put it under the category of fairness in yeah. dealing. Yeah. And using feelings is appropriate when you talk about things like we call I statements, the I statement deals with how you feel about what happened. When I see terms change in the contract that, that go against me, I feel such and such. The reason you say that 
is because people can argue against facts, but they have a hard time arguing against your feelings. They're your feelings. That's you got to deal with my feelings, and it puts it onto a personal level that allows that causes them to perhaps maybe even feel guilty about making the change. Yeah, potentially winning, winning some reserve of goodwill for future, um, in a future situation. If if they have to, you know, if we didn't treat you fairly in that situation. Um, Maybe slowly, I see things changing in Croatia of people becoming a little bit more willing to believe in themselves or to, to say, I, 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 I need some, some place in, in, the, in employment to negotiate. Maybe not in a, in a in a kind of manual labor job, but often in in, in professionals. Um, I think it's it's always good to just remember that that a hiring process is a big, long, complicated thing for a company, and they don't want to exactly just go start it all over again. Um, and you're able to um, to say, hey, you know, we, I'm exhausted by this process, but you're probably it's been a long process for you as well. So let's uh, try and really make sure we have a happy agreement here. Um, by the way, I negotiated into an assignment and a raise and a promotion. Yeah. Well, it turned out happened. I, I realized that there was there was a certain position that was needed to start up the Japanese plant, and I felt job but i wasn't in the right department i wasn't in the right discipline nothing was right that i was going to get that so i put a job description for the job that was needed over there and then i a resume that happened to match that job description and so i went to all the hierarchy and first put down the job description i say i think this is going to be needed in japan would you agree they said well yeah that's absolutely what we need there then I hand them my resume and say, and here's why I'm the best person for that. Yeah, that would also be irrefutable logic that yeah, told... them to just break out laughing. Yeah, that's and that's say, well, yeah. I, I gotta admire your gumption, you know, your 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 yeah. initiative. Yeah. And, yeah. But it's one position higher than what you are right now. And I said, So what's the problem? Yes, this other. Eventually, I got promoted, which came with a raise, and um, and so I worked my way into that by by being by showing the facts of what's needed and why I'm the best person. All right. Anybody have a last last burning question? You've just been waiting this whole time. We have three minutes left. Three minutes. I will take a more. Uh, uh, let's see, but there was, I think several people said they negotiated with their suppliers, not just customers, but suppliers. Um, maybe you give a quick story about how, what it's like to talk to some, what are some things that come up in discussions with suppliers? Mm. Well, think about that. So for me, suppliers would mean people that are providing products to my company. Yeah. Um, Typically, what worked well for me there is I would always try to find out what do they really need? What kind of communication do they need? How do I make their jobs better? How do I make their world uh, more satisfying? How can they work with us? What would they like to see different from the big Ford Motor Company that we can do to make their experience with us better? And then if I keep turning it to the point where what's, what's best for them, in the end, here, think about that, though. What's best for a supplier is best for the person using the product. I spent a large part of my career investing in suppliers and giving them, helping them get what they need to be successful because in the end, they don't to be successful. They're asking for some, uh, some literature uh, or recommendations for oh, reading. Oh, great, yes. Yeah. Uh, What's the? Uh, he said, "I'll try and type it out." Can you, or what's the name of the book again? You were, that you had mentioned during your presentation. Getting, to, getting the yes. You know, they also wrote a book called "Getting Past No," which really when you're dealing with people that are unethical or difficult are almost impossible to work with. Um, not a book you read very often because I don't 
want to be in those negotiations, <laughs> but uh, I have been in those negotiations because of my experience with uh, large labor unions. And so I've read both books. Uh, so if you, if you think you need to negotiate with people that are going to be extremely difficult, uh, the getting past no is, is another addition that they put out later that I think could be a good But again, that's that's uh, F uh, Fisher Uri Patton. Is that Richard, all right? Richard uh, Richards and Uri. I think it's William Uri. Uri. Okay, yeah. Richards um, first name at this point. I actually have not read a lot of books on. on just bought a book on the subject. I'm looking, trying to look it up. Yeah, that's a famous institution is the Harvard Negotiation Project. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, so there's better books out there, and I, and I think there's been some updated yeah. editions also. Yeah, yeah, I found an updated edition of the uh, of um, getting to yes. That's uh, I think uh, uh, normally here have access to being able to buy books on Kindle, and it's five dollars on Kindle right now. Yeah. Well, I will just um, here at the end say again, uh, you have a couple different ways to connect. One is that yeah, the, the link I put in earlier to the uh, uh, YouTube channel where this will be posted and some other content as well. I think you even have some content from Ron and Steve from last year up there. Uh, there is the uh, iPartner um, uh, Facebook page, which has the links for registration for tomorrow and for Thursday. And also um, in the evaluation for tonight's seminar that, that I put the link in for, you can um, indicate your interest if you would like a chance to have a, a one-hour Zoom call conversation with Steve or Ron and, uh, over the next few days. Um, we, I'll just say well, Thursday is the chance to kind of be in a similar um, environment like this again. It might sound surprising at first, but the topic we are going to address is, is praying at work. And um, uh, it was interesting in people's responses to that event saying, gee, I don't even really know if I'm allowed uh, or if it's a good idea to pray about work. And so um, you, you took a very warm interpersonal human response to to negotiation uh in this time we had together and so i think that, uh, it'll be very interesting sort of parallel there to when when you're in those situations and thinking about you know how how is uh is praying actually come in come into the room at all in, in those kinds of discussions as well so um, at least feel free to come back and join us um on um, and tomorrow it'll be a big uh, meeting. Uh, we often have about 150 people from all over Europe on those monthly uh, webinars that have been um, really growing over time. So that's a, it's a, we always have a good crowd from Croatia as well. So thank you everybody for being with us this evening. And uh, again, the, the recording of this will go up online uh, uh, tomorrow or the next day, see how, if I have any computer problems or not, but uh, Thank you very much, all of you, for being with us, and uh, hope that you have a, a really nice evening. And Ron and Steve, thank you so much for joining us again, all the way from America, and um, uh, um, making time. Glad to be here. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, everyone.